Welcome to Coffee Talk with Liquid Shano 1973, an inspirational podcast about the ups and downs of life and everything in between. Here's your host, Shane Lakita. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Coffee Talk with Liquid Shano 1973. I'm your host, as that wonderful voice in the beginning said, Shane Lakita, and I'm here with you. I'm I'm actually here with you, right? All the things that are going on in the world right now, I mean, literally, is 2020 a time period where we can take a look at it and say, can I restart it? Can I press the restart button and get to a place where... I'm not worried about diseases and infestations and then rioting and all kinds of other stuff that's going on. Can I get to a place where I feel like I can walk outside or have a barbecue or hang out with my friends and just get to a place where it just feels kind of like normal again? Now, mind you, normal is, isn't is anything good with the overall racial inequality and some of the social injustice that we're seeing right now, right? I mean, I, I as you all know in this podcast, I don't like to talk about Anything to do with politics or anything like that because it conjures up a lot of really anger emotions, but it also does just other – sometimes it's ineffective to be able to do it. Now, the right forum and the right format is absolutely the place to be able to go talk about those kind of things. But with everything that's going on right now, I mean we're in a space right now where – We need some positivity. We need some light. We need some inspiration. We need people to come together. We need folks to grab each other's hands and each other's arms and be able to pull together and be able to do a lot of great things together. And it takes work and it takes effort and it takes bravery and it takes just overall energy to be able to move that needle forward where it's easier to fall down the road of negativity and negative thoughts and pessimism, and all those things, as many of us know. I mean, how many of us are actually waking up every single morning knowing or thinking to ourselves, yep, I can do that, I can accomplish that, or whatever. More often than not, we have to turn our, our, almost like convince ourselves to be able to do that. Turn our behaviors or our negative attitudes that we normally wake up with to being the positive ones a lot of times, right? Some days are better than others, of course, and we can wake up with just a really positive attitude and be ready to go. But at this time, this is where I'm at with this podcast. Not about the social inequalities, not about COVID-19s, not about disease or anything like that. This is going to be all about mental mindset and where you're at as a person. So I'm going to share with you. This morning I woke up. I got up right out of bed, went into the bathroom, was grumpy. If I had hair, I'd be scratching my head and ripping my hair out of my head, just going, man, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling up to par. I'm not feeling like I really can be in a really good place or anything like that or be a positive influence on anything because all night all I saw was videos and all I saw was media coverage and social media coverage and all these different things about a really heavy and dark time of where we're at, even though I might not look at it as a dark time because I feel like things will start to change because of what's going on. But here's the thing. I woke up, and this is how I was feeling. I felt like I was going to be fraudulent if I went out and said, let's be positive. Let's go for our goals. Let's go for everything we're trying to be able to fight for. Let's go to, if you're on a weight loss journey, continue to fight for that. Continue to be the best version of you. Or if you're on a journey of running a marathon, you know, go out, get after those miles, go after those times, do the things you want to do, and be able to fight for the things that you want to be able to continue to fight for and the goals you're trying to be able to accomplish. Right. And I felt like I was going to be a fraud if I went out there and did that. I felt like with all the negativity and all the heavy, heavy messaging and all the stuff, if I went out there with Mr. Positive Patty and I I stepped up there and, and posted something and put it out on social media or on the podcast or whatever, and I did that, would that fall on deaf ears? Would it make an impact? Would people look at me and say, I'm tone deaf? Would people look at me and unfollow me or not like me on certain social media platforms because I wasn't sticking to the cause or I wasn't sticking to where I, where I was at or or leaning in on one side or the other? I really felt like I was in this weird place. 
And I and I honestly, truthfully feel like there's a lot of people that are out here on the on this podcast, on Instagram Live, which I'm recording over here, that literally think to themselves, I can't really continue to move forward or put out humor or positivity or some sort of positive reinforcement because I feel like it would be tone deaf and it wouldn't be in alignment with everything that's going on around us, whether you disagree with it or you agree with it or whatever. It would just feel like it's kind of out of touch, right? It would feel like we are skimming it off to the side or brushing it off to the side and not addressing the issue or the task at hand. And I felt that way because even my friends and some of my closer closer people that I'm really close with on Instagram, on Facebook, or even in my personal life are very emotional, right? And they're driven towards the fact of if you don't do the following, then who are you as a person? And I've always believed in if we move forward in society or we move forward with change, your mind has to be in the right frame of mind to be able to do it. You've got to be able to give yourself the right tools and resources to be able to move forward, just like in anything. If you're trying to lose weight, your mind has to be in the right frame of mind to do it, right? You've got to make sure that you're ready to go, you're ready to take it on, you're ready to attack it, you're ready to do everything you need to do. Just like if you were trying to move up in business or you're trying to become a professional and be able to move up the ranks of a a larger business or anything like that, your mind has to be in the right frame of mind for you to be able to go and do that. You can't be in the wrong frame of mind and just expect things to come to you and happen for you. You've got to make sure that you know that you got to put in the work, you got to put in the energy, you got to change your mindset into a positive thinking mindset where you're there, you can make it happen, you go into it with full gusto, full bore, you're ready to go, attack it and get after it, right? Well, that's similar to this situation. So as I'm sitting there and I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm going, I don't want to be a fraud. I don't want to be looked at poorly. I don't want to be anything like that. But I know true values in my mind is the fact that if I can spread positivity and I can bring a level of positivity to the world, to my friends, to the podcast, to Instagram, to TikTok, to whatever it is, if I can bring that level of positivity out there to the world, to the masses, that can only help. How would that hurt if I'm not necessarily falling in alignment with all the messaging that goes across the board, yet I'm still trying to be able to work on behaviors towards moving us forward in a positive fashion? So I, I, I was doubting myself. I was down on myself. I thought to myself, you know, who am I? I've always believed in the things that I'm going for or believed in the, thing, in the steps that I'm taking, but I had to have a readdress moment, guys. I had to have a, I'm stepping inside of my cocoon for just a moment to be able to refocus, readjust, and refire if I need to. And I needed to take a moment for myself because I needed to right-size my brain, right-size my mentality, right-size my own personal thoughts about myself, and get back to doing the things that I know are nothing but positive influences, all the while still learning and adjusting and pivoting and being able to move in this space. Not ignoring the issues that are at hand, but rather embracing them, understanding there's need for change, continuing the positive momentum that you want to be able to continue to be or the positive person that you want to be and continue pushing that forward. Now, that's hard for people to do, especially when we're surrounded by either negativity or videos or loops or all these different things, the news, the news media outlets. Here, here, here's a, you want a recommendation from me to you. A re- recommendation from me to you is use news, the news outlets, to be a temporary gauge, just a small little snippet into what's going on in the world to give yourself knowledge enough to know what the temperature is. Don't listen to all the fodder. Don't listen to all the opinions. Don't listen to all the things that are going on on the right side or the left side. It doesn't even matter. All you need to do is get a little bit of data, a little bit of information, formulate where you have to formulate it and then back away because you know what happens with media outlets with the constant barrage that we get of all of these different things that are going on right now because it can sway either way we all know that everything is the weird place in the news outlets because it's however you want to be politically driven or however the payments come through or the money comes through to be able to drive your thought a certain process or certain way you are going to be going that direction because then you get sucked in 
and then you're watching the news over and over and it's cyclical and you're watching all of the the demonstration but the bad side of the demonstration is not the positive side of the demonstrations or you're watching the news worthy outlet stuff the stuff that they want to be able to plaster all over the TV to be able to say this is newsworthy items that's negative that's all about damage and destruction and chaos and mayhem when in all honesty there are a lot of other things that are going on that are actually positive at the same time as all that other stuff is going on, but it's creating a voice and it's creating a, a conversation, and I get that. So my recommendation to you, if you really want to stay out of the muck and the mire and the mud and the gross and the, all that stuff, stay out of the media. Stay out of it. Stay away from the news. Don't get sucked in. If you're sucked in, you're going to be sucked in, and you're going to literally be falling down this road of this slippery slope, and we all know how we respond to emotions, guys. I've told you many times on this podcast, on my social media platforms, I respond to stress and those levels of everything through eating. And I rely on the thing that I think to myself is going to satiate or make me feel better or whatever. So I poorly eat based on the stress levels that I have. I don't sleep very well based on the stress levels that I have and all those things. And what I find is the more that I watch the news, the more stressed out that I become. And stress is not good in our lives. We know that. We all know that. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a guy going through life, trying to be able to put one foot in front of the other and be great at whatever I can be at, inspire people along the way, motivate and lift people up. So I'm not a doctor. I can't give you the clinical reasons of what stress can do to your body, but I know how I feel when I'm stressed. And I know my body tells me, nope, you're not feeling right. Something's not going well. Whether it's the temperature of my body, whether it's how I'm feeling, whether it's the the pitter-patter of the heart, whatever it is that's there, your body tells you exactly how you feel when you're stressed out. So with everything that's going on, there's a couple feelings that are going on. So my first feeling this morning was, I'm going to be a fraud. People are going to look at me differently. They're going to say to me, why aren't you part of the cause? Why aren't you speaking to the issues? Why aren't you doing those things? Not that I'm a major influencer, but I have a voice. I have a podcast, I have a small following, and people will ask, why aren't you doing that? So I, 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 was, I literally was talking to myself in this negative fashion while I was sitting there in the, in the mirror. And I found myself in this rut. And I found myself being this negative voice that I haven't heard in a long time. And the negative voice that it was, wasn't necessarily about the situation that was going on. It was more so about how I'm responding to it and how I'm reacting to it and how I'm feeling in this moment. Now, as many of you know, as many of you know, there's there's a situation that goes on whenever we are faced with any kind of adversity, any kind of, I don't know, basically any kind of pain and suffering or anything like that. We go into self-defense mode, right? We go into self-defense mode. We can protect our own, do our things, or whatever else. And I understand all that. And for me, whenever I'm going through pain or suffering or anything like that, I don't try to avoid the situation. I try to figure out how I can be better with the situation. So as I'm sitting there looking at myself and I'm being self-doubting and self, I don't know, just bad-mouthing across the board which I know many of you have already found yourself doing. I, I guarantee you there's more than one person on this podcast or on this Instagram live that, l- that listens to yourself when you get into those negative talkings and you're sitting there, whether you're bad-mouthing yourself or bad-mouthing the situation or you're bad-mouthing your integrity or where you want to go and those kind of things. We've all been there. We've all been in that, that cycle, that cycle of negative talk. Well, I needed to stop. And I needed to refocus and refire. So I put on my cocoon. I sat down for just a moment and I thought to myself, okay, let's really take inventory of everything that's going on here. In a world situation that everything is chaos, it's pandemonium, there's stuff going on every single different direction of every single face of this country, there's dialogue happening. There's conversations happening. There are some peaceful demonstrations. This may be the time that change will start to happen. I started to take inventory of the positive things along with the negative things. And I found as I was starting to weigh them all out that there's a lot more positive than there is negative. 
if we are moving things forward and having a conversation and being able to turn the page a little bit and be able to say, okay, what have we learned from the past and what haven't we done correctly? But now this social change is going to start to happen. We're really starting to turn the needle of, okay, we need to keep continuing to have this conversation daily, having the conversation of right-sizing, reform, making sure our societal changes are happening, that our youth are starting to be taught and have conversations about the right way to be, then that's a good thing. And one of those ways is through spreading positivity, love, adoration, inspiration, accountability. All of these things are part of what this podcast does, as you all know. I try to bring all those different factors into this podcast to be able to inspire other people, to lift other people up, to get us all to be the best version of ourselves, even if we feel like we can't, even if we feel like the outlook is bleak or we feel like there's no really anything that we can really uh, accomplish because we've always been told we're not good enough or we've always been told that we're fat or We're unworthy or we are judged on the color of our skin. But this podcast has always believed in we can accomplish whatever we set our mind to. I've always believed in that. And I've always tried to bring that with all of my posts and all of my coffee talks and all of my blogs and all of my podcasts and all of my social media entries and whatever. And that small following that I talked about before, that I'm not a major social influencer, but I have a following and I have a voice, rely on that. And they rely on positivity. And they rely on me to be able to lean in, to be able to say, hey, you know what? It's okay. It's all good. Let's move forward. Let's be amazing. Let's be great. And when I do that and I inspire somebody else, that inspires me to continue doing it. And then it's cyclical. And then we keep moving forward. So I knew that when I took that cocoon moment and I said to myself, people rely on me to be that positive influence, that positive voice. I rely on myself because if I don't, then I'm going to go down bad roads of bad behaviors. So I know that I rely on me. And so that's a lot of weight of people that rely on me. So I knew I needed to snap out of it. I knew I needed to think to myself, what are you saying? Are you saying that we shouldn't be positive? Are you saying that I should just go silent and, and not talk about anything? No, I'm going to continue to go down the road of building people up. I'm going to continue to go down the road of lifting others. Here's one thing that I believe that I wanted to talk about on the podcast that I think is relevant in the situation. There's always this sense of if one positive action can cause a ripple effect in all of the grand scheme of everything. And I've always believed in that. I've always believed if I have one positive action and I start to move things forward, that ripple effect will affect many more down the road, including negative now, right? Including negative. But I'm going to park in the space of the positive. And I'm going to park in the space of the impact that I have in this environment, on my health, in this journey, on the folks that are listening to the podcast and everybody that I'm surrounded by. The one positive action that I can take, it's like dropping a rock into the water. And the positive action, I drop the rock in there, and that ripple effect usually turns into multiple actions. So here's what I mean. Here I am. I walk over. I make a post about positivity. I make a post about achieving your goals and doing the things that you've always wanted to accomplish, being the best version of yourself. Now, 50 people may listen to that. And 49 of them may say, oh, BS, man. Like, I don't want to hear that right now. But one person may say, oh, wow, that message is really, really cool. I needed that today. I needed that message. I needed to hear that because I was feeling down and I was feeling like I was not going to be able to accomplish anything in life. I feel I've always been told I can't do something. I needed to hear that today to turn my day around to turn my life around. So one person out of the 50, okay? Now, this is just an example, but that one person then takes that and goes to that one person then takes that positive energy and goes to others and spreads the same positivity to 50 more people. Now, two of those people, 48 may say, all right, whatever, man, whatever. It's not the time, not the place. But two of those people might say, that's really amazing. Let's go. I like that. 
two of those people. So now we're at the place where one action turns into three. And then those two people may go to others with that same positivity, that same message, that same whatever. And they go to more people. And as you can see, this starts to grow. And the positive momentum starts to grow. Much like what a negative one would be. But like I said, I'm parking in the space of a positive one here. So my actions can have a ripple effect on many more people than what I think. If I'm talking to one person or I make an impact on one, by the end of the whole entire cycle, you may have 50, 60, 100,000, million people that are all affected in the right way, in a positive fashion, to be able to accomplish the goals that they want to be able to accomplish, do the things that they want to be able to do, accomplish all their aspirations, goals, all those things, all together. I mean, think about that, guys. Our actions create change. Our actions create momentum. I choose to be on the positive end of that because I feel as if I can make a bigger difference in the world. And it's there's more longevity behind it. Now, like I opened with, we can we can legitimately say to ourselves, I if I'm here and with those actions that I'm putting into place, those things that I'm trying to do, those positive momentum builders, it takes work to do it, guys. It takes work. It takes effort. It takes investment. It takes time. It takes energy. It takes all those things to be able to go down the positive road. Because going down the negative road is so easy to do. It's so simple to be able to do so. You guys all know this. I've been down this road many, many times before where it's easy to slide down that negative road. And it's easy to be able to fall into the trap of being negative, being people around you, rabble rousing all around you, and, and going down this road of being, oh man, you know, life, woe is me, and just really stinks, and we're never going to be able to make any kind of change or whatsoever. And there are different versions of making change, right? There's different versions of where we're at in society. There is the ones that have to be able to get the attention of the change makers and making sure that the right people hear it. So sometimes if they feel like they need to be aggressive and we see it all over the news, right? We're seeing it all over the place, but that's their way of trying to be able to incite change. And that's okay. I get it. And some of them is malicious intent. Other ones are all positive intent and they have to be able to go down the road and feel the way that they feel. There is no, there is no way in the world that I have a right to tell anybody how to respond to these things. No way. But I can tell you what I'm going to do. And I can tell you how I feel that I can make a positive impact on things and how I can change the momentum and I can change the narrative and I can change the world one positive action at a time. I'm going to use the ripple effect of what we're doing. If I make a ripple, a positive ripple in the water and it travels out and it starts to affect more and more and more people. It starts to affect their actions and their behaviors and the things that they're trying to do, then I've done my job. I've done my job. I focused on me. I led by example, and I did the things that I have to do to continue to move forward. Does that mean I won't be involved in some of the different things or different platforms or different changes that might be coming and taking place? Nope, that means I will be involved with that. But I'm talking about positive actions to create positive reactions. Make things move forward in a positive fashion. Park in the space that you are successful, that you can be successful, that you can be amazing. You can do all the things that you need to do. Let's get on board with that. Okay, guys, I hope that that helps you. Hope that that helps you give you some perspective on it's not easy waking up every day trying to be positive. It's not easy to be able to go down the road of continuing to drive that positive behavior or the positive momentum or inspire or motivate and those kind of things. So it takes work and you deserve the work that needs to be put in. I deserve the work that needs to be put in to get there. Okay, we'll talk soon. Thanks. Thank you for listening to today's podcast. Please do us a favor and leave feedback and a five-star rating on whatever platform that you use.